Okay, now I showed you this method. If not, you can go and see the previous video. Um, what I'd like to do is show you now the other method that is uh, that you can typically work with this. So the other method kind of works on a basis of factoring out your roots uh, or your radicand and to uh, you know, determine what it's gonna be. So when factoring um, out, usually you know, it's, it's easiest to kind of pick your largest you know, numbers that, that can go into it and keep on factoring it. So I know I can factor this into two times 36. I can't factor two anymore. Um, however, I can factor my 36. Let's again, uh, let's do this by two. 2 times uh, 18, this would be 2 times 9, and this would be you know, 3 times 3. So then what I'm looking at is now, once I have my radical, what I can do is I can group these together, because remember you're taking the square root, so you want to see what you can group together. So I can group a pair of 2's and a pair of 3's, and the only thing left over is my 2. So I'm going to have a radical 2, and then 2 times 3, which will give me 6. So that's how you can find the radical, by simplifying the radical, by use of factoring. Hello.